Hey, Viking fans, are you ready for some football? In a few hours, 9 o'clock Central, we are going to have our prayers answered, and we're going to have a little bit of Minnesota Viking football before our regular season starts. We're going to talk about that next in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook at Skull World. I'm promising I'll be more active on those uh, this year. Try to do it pretty regularly. I went on uh, TikTok for the first time in a long time and put a video out there. Did 10,000 views. I'm happy. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure you hit like. That way, this gets pushed out. Before tonight, everybody needs to watch a video of me. All right, let's get started. All right, you know what? We're not going to see any of this start. We're not going to see Justin Jefferson. We're not going to see Kirk Cousins. We're not going to see Alexander Madison. Darius, uh, you know, any of these guys. We're going to have a lot of backups playing. You know what? It don't matter. We know what we got on offense. We don't need to know anymore. I think we're fine there. However, there's some positions out there now defense a much more needs to be worked on there so we might see more we might see awesome we might see all our linebackers in there but we won't see a daniel hunter we won't see a marcus davenport probably maybe not even um may, maybe not even some of our interior linemen like a harrison phillips we know what he's got uh maybe even not dean lowry uh may we wait may want to see tonga we may you know, and then all the backups there, you know, Harrison Smith doesn't need any practice. But a Lewis scene, he might, you know, a Lewis scene might, um, you know, there's there's some options. Josh Metellus, who knows? There's a lot. There's a lot of question marks about certain positions on the defense that there might be. You might see more of the future regular players there. But what am I looking for? What am I looking for? You know, let, let me look. Let me just go down position wise and, and tell you what, what I think. I want to see, you know, Nick Mullins and Jaron Hall play equal amount of time. You know, split the half. I want to see that. I want to see what can do. You know, sometimes a NFL team might want to let the starter start the second half to see what the transition to experience the transition of going in and making adjustments. A lot of a lot that makes a lot of sense. You may see that, but I would want the next week for Jaron Hall, you know, Mullins to have that this week and Jaron Hall to have it next week. I want to see equal time. I, I I love the fact that we'll develop a quarterback and then we don't need our quarterback to have you know practice. And the reason why uh, we don't do this is that they put a lot more emphasis on those practices with other teams. Uh, I think we're playing. I know one of them is the Cardinals, and I the last year was San Francisco. I forget the two teams that we're doing with this year, but we're doing two teams instead of one. And they put a lot more emphasis on that on those practices. I don't think you know in it doesn't necessarily make too much sense to me because the game um, I would think give you that more experience, and there'd be flags, and you wouldn't have as many you wouldn't have as many fights and risk injury that way. But hey. To each their own. They feel like it's more important than it is very competitive. It's like your hardest practice of football is you're practicing against another team that wants to show you up. So it it, it may help us in the end, but you know, as far as it's, you know, the the game, you know, not having any starters in it, it's you know, it's sad. We we want to get the Vikings, we want to get our players out there, we want to see them. But, hey, main thing is that they're healthy for the regular season. And there's 17 games, so we got plenty of football. So that's the quarterbacks. Uh, running backs, we're not going to see Alexander Masson or Kenny Nwangu, uh, Ty Chandler, Dwayne McBride. I want to see if Ty Chandler or Dwayne McBride gives me the early th thoughts of him uh, replacing Alexander Madison in the future. Now, considering Ty Chandler is actually a few months older than Alexander Madison, it might be might be a, a a situation that he won't be here either. 
and that Dwayne McBride's our future. So who knows what's going to happen? But early early stipulations say Dwayne, Dwayne McBride, it's a little over his head right now. Ty Chandler, I personally think, is ready. Uh, but it, tonight will go a long ways in letting me know that. He didn't get much playing time at all last year in preseason. So hopefully that changes this year. Uh, wide receiver, you know, we're not going to see a Justin Jefferson, but Jalen Rager, Brandon Powell, one of those guys is going to be the fifth guy and the other guy's out, right? So we'll look for that. I, I don't think Jalen Naylor's back, so that dis, that disappoints me. There's really nobody else I'm looking at. Uh, we know what we got with at Jordan Addison or Justin Jefferson, KJ Osborne. Jordan Addison might get some time. That'd be exciting, but do we really want him to get hurt? I don't want it. I, I uh, it's going to be hard to hard to put him out on the field and and risk injury. But it would be exciting to see him play. But in that in the receiver, it's Jalen Rager, it's Brandon Powell, it's Nikhil Harris. Um, I think those are the guys that we're looking for. You know, Kate in t- tight ends, T.J. Hawkinson. I'm excited. Is not going to play. Josh Oliver, though, I would like to see what he's able to do. Uh, Nick Muse has got is got a lot riding on preseason, a huge amount riding on preseason. He, he might be like, odd man looking out, might make the practice squad again. But uh, I would feel comfortable with Hawkinson, Oliver, and Munt being our three tight ends. Completely, completely okay with that. Obviously, C.J. Ham at fullback. Um, he probably won't. He might get some playing time because we need a fullback in there, and I don't see we got one on the uh, depth chart anymore. So I that may escape me. I know we had one to, in the beginning of the year, a UDFA, but no, not anymore, it looks like. I, I might be mistaken. Uh, now, offensive line, it was curious that I saw Blake Brandle move to guard. That'd be interesting to see. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, do we have a backup center? You know, Garrett Bradbury, Ezra Clavin, Darisa Ingram, O'Neal aren't playing, man. I doubt they're playing. But there's some there were some people excited about Jackie Chan. I want to see if o, um, Ole Udo could, uh, you know, shine. Vidarian Lowe playing left tackle. I really want to look at him, see if he's a, you know, he's our future you know, backup left tackle. That'd be interesting to see. And the whole idea is because they're moving Brandle the guard. That would intrigue me if he plays well, is that we got depth at guard then in which, you know, Chris Reed is out, but uh, Sokol and Schlotman got a lot riding on this um, preseason to see who can back up center. So that that's the offensive line. So the the key the the guys I'm mo- most interested in seeing, outside of Jordan Addison, obviously, would be Ty Chandler running back, uh, Powell Rager, Nikhil Harry at receiver. Who wins a who's who steps up? And uh, you know, I would I'm looking at Vidarian Lowe and Blake Brandle playing their new position, playing their you know hopefully their new positions. We'll see. Now, defense. Uh, I, I did a video on Dean Lowry. I'm excited about him because he can move a pocket. And Chris Tonga, excited about him, uh, about giving getting his shot. This is his shot, man. We don't have depth there. So, but what ex- also excites me to see how Jaqueline Roy plays to get me a little more excited about the nose tackle position. If we got a rotation or depth there. That would be awesome if we can rotate guys like that and keep them fresh. That that could you could play at a high level if you're you got a lot of rest. So that that's cool. Uh, Harrison Phillips, obviously, we know what we got with him. Now, anybody behind there? Uh, Jonathan Bullard, uh, Blacklock. I want to see Asesia Tamoyo if he if he steps up in year two. There's not a whole lot of depth here, and it is nice that Asesia Otamoyo. This is his natural position. Maybe he steps up. Ross Blacklock had a, it was a, what, a second round pick coming out of college. I don't think he was. He should have been. But it, if there was potential there, this is your time. You got, He's got a lot riding on this. Jonathan Bowler just pretty solid, but he's a backup in this league. 
Um, I was kind of excited about him last year. One of my biggest videos, I got 50 subs off of that video when Jonathan Buller got signed. But um, he's he played pretty decent. He's a run. He plays the run well, but he doesn't push the pocket. That's why I'm a little more excited about Dean Lowry playing that position. Uh, in, you know, linebacker, Asamoa. Um, I want to see him. I want to see if Troy Reader is a, a, a good enough backup. And the the big name probably would be, uh, you know, Ivan Pace Jr., whether or not he's going to see some time. So he's got a lot riding on this. You know, we undrafted free agent, but it looks like he's making the team. I yeah, and not even close. He's not even a bubble player at his UDFA. And in a lot to do with the shallow at that middle linebacker, weak side linebacker position, off ball linebacker, basically. So Troy Reader, you got you got Ivan Pace Jr., Brian Osamoa. Let's see what they can do. You might not see a Jordan Hicks, who maybe you do. I don't know. But we know what we got with Jordan Hicks, but we don't know what we really got with the other three guys. And then Troy Day is, is he's got a lot riding on this pre preseason too. Then there's a couple of guys you never heard of. Uh you know, line outside linebacker, uh, you know, Marcus Davenport and Daniel Hunter obviously won't be there playing, but what do we got? Uh, we got uh Wanham and and um God, what Jesus the names escaped me. Uh Jones. Uh if those two guys step up, that would make me feel a lot better about our depth and having a possible rotation, some get give the guys a break. But outside of that, I don't feel like, you know, I guess there's a Valane. Uh, that's the other guy. I wouldn't mind seeing how good he is. He could be a future starter for our team if we lose a Daniel Hunter or Davenport move on. So we'll see there. Now, cornerback, a Caleb Evans. And what do we and Byron Murphy, and then we're looking at Makai Blackman. So I don't see Evans and Murphy playing a whole lot if they do at all. But Makai Blackman, he could solidify that starting job. I think Boo Jr. still hurt, but I don't see an injury designation on him. Uh, Josh, you know, uh, let's see, Lewis, where were we at here? Theo Jackson, that the safety position. Uh, so. J Joe Jawan, Joan Williams, Kalen Barnes. Those are a couple of names that, you know, Williams, he's got the size. Kalen Barnes actually had some playing time last year. Andrew Boo Jr., Makai Blackman, Tay Gowan. Those are the others. So not a whole lot of excitement there. I wouldn't mind seeing Andrew Boo Jr. play. Hopefully he gets some time in preseason so, you know, he can instill a little confidence in us. But just because of depth, we may have to see Evans and Murphy. I don't know, man. And we may, we may want some continuity, so we might play all these guys out there early on. Uh, who knows? We'll see. I'm a little more iffy about what we'll do with the defense this preseason. But Harrison Smith is our starter. I think he's going to make uh, the Pro Bowl this year. I had a hot take. He's got five sacks. I don't need him doing anything in preseason. I just need him to show up day one. Uh, against the Buccaneers, Josh Metellus, Lewis Seen, Jay Ward, Theo Jackson. I'm pretty excited about these guys. They're all pretty solid players. I don't know as much about Theo Jackson, but the other three guys I'm pretty excited about. And then uh, you got your kicker, Greg Joseph, Ryan Wright, punter. Punt returner, Brandon Powell, Rager. Uh, kick returner, we may see Ty Chandler. Let's see what he can do. Uh, also, Brandon Powell, and they even list K.J. Osborne, I think, at punt return, or at least on ESPN they do. But So just to recap, who am I most excited to look at on defense? Uh, I would say Asizia Tomeu to see if he can uh, be a legitimate defensive end in a 3-4. Obviously, the big ones would be uh, Pace Jr. and Asamoa. I'm more I'm most excited about them. And uh, Makai Blackman. Uh, those are the guys I'm really looking for. That, those are the guys I'm most excited about. In the comments, tell me who you're most excited about. Make sure you click like. Make sure you comment. I, I want to I wanna hear from you. And then also September 9th, we're going to have Skullfest, Northeast Palace, 5 p.m. it starts. Be there. 
game starts the next day. This is the first ever 2023 Skull Fest. Let's go. Let's go. Cue the music. <laughs>